standard. So we have our three, two, one, and pills. And here we go. As we get started, I see a rather balanced board by Bosom. Could like a little bit more red on Adelito's side, but not an absolutely terrible board either. Meanwhile, over on Darz's side, it's a mostly flat top with pretty much every color readily available. I'd give a minor advantage to Darz here, especially with how high uh, Alito is building up. But look at this <laughs> combo. Yeah, that was outstanding. And, you know, it looked like a hot mess at the top, but he really made it work. And meanwhile, Darz is bringing his board down just a little bit at a time, but needs so much blue-yellow to keep this board going. And he's going to be tucking down to the bottom of the board anytime he gets a red. So we'll see how that works. But both of these players very close to one another. Yeah, might be a little bit of an issue is the column five there for uh, Darz. But beyond that, it's a pretty nice organized board that shouldn't be too difficult to uh, clear out. Meanwhile, over on Adelito's side, he's got, uh, he's got a little bit of a tower there in column three that might slow him down a little bit. But again, nothing major over there either. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and notice he took it down with a nice horizontal, and uh, he's going to just need one more yellow to be out. He's out at a 1 22. Excellent time for level 8. We see Dars still working on these last couple reds, but he's worked around column 5 outstandingly well, so all he needs to do is tuck two reds underneath, and that's the exact position that you want to be in. So he's out at a 1 35. Good time as well, and small time differential there. Still close game. Yeah, I got him and I expected to be a much larger gap with how that uh, center of the board was going for him, but he made really quick work of that. And hopefully both of these people do very quick work of uh, this level nine. Not the, the greatest of boards for Adelito. He's going to mm. have to, uh, <laughs> as he takes off a whole oh. bunch of pills and proves me wrong. Timber! There's that drop fat log that we love from Adelito. Very nicely done. And we see Dars with a 10 virus deficit at the moment, but clearing out using this uh, mini red-yellow blitz to his advantage. I'm just clearing out with a great sweet tea there. Yes, I know how much you love your sweet teas, don't you? <laughs> I do. I really do. <laughs> and meanwhile, looking over at... Oh, I see what Adelito's doing. Oof. Look at this here. Another nice... As uh, another commentator likes to put it, uh, Adlito doing Adlito things. <laughs> and uh, Doris, meanwhile, though, not really too far behind. It looks like he is with that 10 virus death. So he's got everything lined up. With, ooh, a little bit of a misdrop there. They'll be able to clean that out easy enough. But for the most part, everything's set up for some nice combos that shouldn't cause him much in the way of trouble mm. at all. Yeah, he's going to take this L. Yeah, unfortunately, it's going to drop down on top of that yellow in column five. And uh, he's going to have to work on it horizontally or or pray that uh, double blue comes very quickly. But now he's got that open. Meanwhile, Adelito already going to work on this level 10, clearing out, setting up for a blue yellow dependency on the left hand side, gets it, tucks down there and manages to clear out all of column one. This yellow blue blitz, very, very useful for Adelito. Meanwhile, uh, Dari started off as a very little red at the top, and he managed to maneuver around that with some nice positioning of pills to get a lot of red pills in the middle taken off very quickly. And with the exception of that red in uh, column three, not red, excuse me, blue, I'm colorblind, at the top of column three, he's got a nice flat board as well. While uh, Adelito has made his board very right-sided, which could cause a little bit of an issue, but at the same time, they are nicely paired up for the most part. So you could, could uh, with some nice double, uh, double Ooh. red right here. Look <laughs> at this. Uh, I mean, how do you how do you even know that that could be coming? I mean, I think a lot of players would not have tried that setup. A little bit risky, but of course, the double red being the most plentiful double. But, oh, man, Dars with a really good comeback here. Would love to see a blue-yellow for him, a couple of them, actually. And just taking down the center of this board. And, wow, out at a 437, where Adelito out at a 438. So, very, very close game. Amazing comeback by Dars. Yeah, this is going to get very interesting very quickly. Look at this combo by Adelito again. 
thought I was going to take it one more virus off and it did, but still did a lot of work real quick to clear a lot of the top of the board. But Dawes is doing pretty much the same thing. He is not leaving much here at the uh, the top for anyone to uh, to look at. He's just tearing it apart. He just needs a nice blue piece right here to help out and gets that. Meanwhile, I'm trying to figure out what Adelito is doing in that column three there. Yeah, he had a misdrop at the beginning that he was thinking about lots of different plans for clearing out. And he did a good job of getting rid of most of that garbage, but it didn't all drop away. So at the very beginning of that level, uh, a little bit of trouble there for him getting getting that whole thing started. And and that actually seems to be a little bit of a pattern. We know that Adelito is used to running from the front. So occasionally, I think when he sees that he uh, is a little bit behind Usually the first couple of hills might be a little bit dicey on that next level. But uh, yeah, he's back in control. This is a very, very close game. Yeah, for a while the Doris had a double-digit lead, but now it's about a one-virus lead for Doris. But he's doing what he mm. can to maintain this lead. That I'm a little concerned about what he's going to do with that uh, yellow in the middle of uh, column five. He's just going to have to take that one horizontally, one would think. Yeah, if you notice that piece of blue garbage there on top of that yellow, that was kind of set up for a horizontal with that blue in column eight. Notice he did get that horizontal, but uh, yeah, it dropped down a little bit prematurely. But wow, these two so close to one another. Look at that. Oh, oh, and that's going to be so tough there for Dars, but he gets that double red and oh, six seconds behind. Yeah, without that misflip oh. again, we might we might have potentially had a tie there, but mm -hmm. Adlito does take the first match. Yeah, and these are outstanding, outstanding times. Of course, I said sub seven would be uh, that gold standard. Meanwhile, uh, Adlito, his average is uh, just below seven minutes, so he's uh, he's someone who's quite used to times of about that level. Mm -hmm. And Dars, for that uh, that round, that was one second off of his PB. And his average for the last 12 months has been 732. So really nice improvement there on his average. So I think these two are ready to go again. We got a ready from Alito and writing on a ready from Dars. Just waiting on uh, that, and then we'll get this next match going. Meanwhile, while we wait in that tier, uh, Dars has had quite a streak going on uh, not too long ago. Last year, he won eight out of nine straight first-round matches. He just had a, a very big streak from September 22 to August 23, and Dars is someone who, when he does play, does seem to get a fair amount of streaks going. He's very good when, uh, once he gets started, you really don't want to give him any opportunity. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, it's, it's interesting. He has not made it to the semis since 2020. And I actually think that he's one of the best players out there who hasn't made it to that level in a while. And so, you know, I'm, I'm really hoping he can pull out another game like that. That was outstanding. And we had our countdown three, two, one and pills. And of course, unfortunately, Dar is already out of use for blue. So he's already tucking down very far into that board to use the blue. And it's getting a lot of blue pieces early on, which is the last thing he wants to be seeing right now. Meanwhile, Alito had started with a few floaty pieces, but had for the most part gotten rid of them. It looks like he plans on going horizontal with those blues. There's a nice red blue, though, just the perfect pill he needed right there. Uh, does, I think, plans on going for a horizontal if he can get a blue-yellow. Yeah, that, that blue-yellow was going to be epic, but it is just not showing up. And I don't think he's going to give up on it. And there he goes. Beautiful. Brings down a lot of the center of the board, but that took quite a while to get going. Yeah, and that's always, at least for me anyway, and I'm sure for a lot of competitors and those watching as well, a very difficult thing to make is how long exactly is too long to wait for that ideal piece you're looking for? Mm -hmm. And especially now looking at Dars's board and just how red, yellow heavy it is, 
I mean, there's very little garbage of any other color, and it was just because that that whole setup really cleared everything out. But now he needs... Uh, very, very frustrating. And Adelito just needs one more yellow, and he'll be out at a 137. Uh, speaking of lack of reds, though, that's going to be a definite problem for Adelito until he gets near the bottom of his board. There's not that much at all near the top. So that could potentially uh, hinder any major plans here because he definitely seems to be getting a fair amount of red. Is that? Uh... But of course, this is Adelito. He knows where exactly to place these things in order to make the uh, make them be the most beneficial to him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. The blue yellow here going to take out a nice horizontal and then a vertical. Meanwhile, and meanwhile, Doris... yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Doris is out at, uh, I think it was about 212. And I also, like Adelito did, had lack of one color at the top. Though for him, it's blue that there is not much of at top, and he is getting a lot of blue pieces. Mm -hmm. And notice he is holding out for a blue-red at the top of this board. Yep, it would have given him a fat log, but he's manufactured it again, and it drops into a vertical. So... It's a good start. He is 12 viruses behind, so not insurmountable there. But uh, Adelito's got a good combo going. Look, he's got a fat log with that red-blue. Really good start for Adelito. Yeah, and right now, Adelito, pretty much all he needs right now is uh, red, really. Since he gets uh, that last red, he'll be able to more or less clear everything out if uh, they'll give him that red. There it is. And he mm -hmm. is out at a 316. Stone Cold would be very happy about that. Uh, Doris, meanwhile, has got a pretty good uh, combo positionings here. He's just looking for, I'm assuming, a double yellow for column three in order to start bringing things down. Speaking of bringing things down, look at Adelito just destroy the top of this board. Yeah, that was really, really quick. Uh, Dars managed to get amazing combo there with that yellow that you said he was looking for. But uh, still, he is falling behind as Adelito charging through this level. The lack of diversity on that top line, just needing basically red and blue. It was it was yellow and blue a second ago. That's That might slow him down, you'd think, but he's just getting everything he needs, and he's got an offset fat log. And yeah, meanwhile, Doris is out at a 410. He's got a bit of work to catch up here, but it's not insurmount insurmountable. I, I can talk today, I assure you of that. <laughs> As uh, for the most part, it's going to be a horizontal game, it looks like, for those yellows. They're doing columns uh, two and three. It's going to take them out right here. It's a nice little cross. And that just needs this double red, and he will be out of level 10 at a 440. And, of course, those are times that we like to see out of level 8 in uh, our previous block. And, uh, yeah, so Adelito getting up there, or excuse me, Dars starting on this level 10. He's in the mid-game now, and excellent work there with the double red sandwiching in between. So he's going to try to be as efficient as he possibly can, particularly with those blues. And yep. Lito, meanwhile, with, with all his crosses that he keeps doing over there, just one after another, and especially he's really good at doing uh, crosses into drop combos. And he just did one of those about 10 seconds ago, which is very impressive to see. You know, he's going for an extra fat log here if mm -hmm. he can get a yellow blue. Yep. And now, note up. yeah, now he's being denied the yellow blue, but he's going to wait for it anyway and just takes out so much of that, leaves a little bit of garbage, which of course is, is rare for an Adelito combo. But, uh, he is making it work. And meanwhile, Dar's out of level 10 at 555. And with over a 30 virus deficit, uh, I think this game is also going to go to Adelito. But uh, Adelito a little bit spired at the moment. Kind of a messy looking board. That blue on column one a little bit tough, but lots of good plans in other places. 
Yeah, plenty of opportunities for uh, horizontals, for example, for the uh, the ones in row one, and there go the yellows. Now he just needs to worry about the blues, which he's going to work on next, it looks like. Meanwhile, Dars is just taking this level mm-hmm. to count here. He, he was 30-some uh, viruses back. Now he's 20. Now he's less than 20. It, it's, it looks like it is going to go ad Lido's way if he can get a couple of uh, blues here for his horizontal. But what a nice comeback from Doris at the end. But Adlito does take it with a 646. Mm, very, very consistent there. And Doris managing to bring that game back way closer than it was at the beginning of this level 11. But uh, yes, it will go to Adelito. And Adelito is going to go on to semifinal Sunday. Look very much forward to uh, seeing who he's going to play next. And actually, we'll be finding out who that's going to be in the next match, won't we? Yes, we're going to have our number 12 seed, Ook the Librarian, and our number four seed, Swang. So stick around and find out what's going to happen as uh, Doris finishes this out. And out at a 735. 